Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem of ad may not run potential policy issue. So as you can see on the screen, you see ads may not contain before or after images and all that. They are trying to indicate the specific policy that was violated. You may see it here. Then um, when you go to this one, it says ad can, ad can run, update ad, and then it, it tries to tell the details of what this particular advert may be violating. And then you may also see this one, ad may not run. I want to just show you some samples and then show you what exactly you need to do in order to solve the issue. This is another one. And then this is also another one. Now, when you see any of these, let me tell you, there are two major reasons why it happens. And I will show you how to solve each of them. The number one reason why it happens is that you are um trying to run an advert on Facebook or Instagram. And you are put either the WhatsApp or you put your Instagram link uh, profile link in the description. If you do that, you will have this particular problem of ad may not run. And I will show you how to solve it uh, by the end of this video. Then I will tell you the second reason why you may get this problem. The second reason is that you may be actually violating a policy. Facebook have a lot of policy that you have to follow in order to be able to um, uh, follow the, 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 their laws and run the advert without violating their laws. So when you look at this one, this one, the advert is violating cryptocurrency policy. You know, if you are trying to run an advert about cryptocurrency, you must follow, there are certain guidelines to follow. It's not like a normal advert. So you have to click on this one, go and read the policy on cryptocurrency. You must uh, fill a certain form and direct it to Facebook and they'll review your cryptocurrency in particular. They don't allow cryptocurrency advert. Then, this one example, if you click on non-functional landing page, they are saying that this advert is violating non-functional landing page policy. Then this one like this, when you click here, it will also show you the policy. So whatever it is, try to click on the blue link that is normally below it, and then you'll be able to go to the um that particular policy and understand the details of what you are violating. Now let us come to um those who have you who have who have who have not violated a policy but you are still getting this error problem so that, that one for example let's say that um let me just show you something like what you're seeing here um so now for those of you who are not actually you are sure you are not violating any policy but maybe you are trying to boost the post just like what you are seeing and then when you click on boost post um it is showing you an error message like what you are seeing here that you can't run the advert or maybe you come here you click on um some of you maybe you are trying to run something like what i'm trying to do here yes maybe you are trying to do a message related advert okay but in the description in the description oh in the description here some of you, you add the link here, either the Telegram, uh, either the WhatsApp or the Instagram profile link. So if you add it here, you may get that, you may get that problem. So I advise you not to add WhatsApp link in the description here or um Instagram profile link. So if you if you if you remove it and it's still giving you that error, then come and do it this way instead in the ad manager. So when you open your profile, um, like what you're seeing here, let me duplicate this and show you. So you come to your profile, you open the ad manager. So after you open the ad manager, you click on create ad. In fact, I want to change the ad account I'm using. So when you get to the ad manager like this, you click on create ad. Then you, you select engagement. If you really wanted to do a WhatsApp related advert, you should select engagement. Then you come to manual engagement settings. Don't choose the tailored cam message campaign. Choose manual engagement. Then you can put the name of your campaign. Then come to the ad set level. The ad set level. Then choose the page you want. Okay. And then remove. I know I don't advise you to choose many of the message apps. So choose WhatsApp. If you want WhatsApp, choose WhatsApp. If you want Messenger, choose Messenger. But don't combine them. So choose one. Then you come um further. Then you put a budget. You put a budget. So let's say five dollars a day. Then you put your date. Then you come to your 
um, the audience controls, ignore it, then come to, you see, switch to original audience option. So use original audience, then choose use zip audience. Then, so for this one, for example, maybe Facebook ad setup audience. Then you go further, click on the placement, click on edit, choose manual placement, don't choose automatic. So under the manual, you remove these things, okay? And then you choose next. <clears throat> okay. So when you get to the ad level, you scroll down and go to, scroll down, scroll down further. You see, when you get here, there are two ways to do it, okay? Either you can just select single image or video, then you, you, you click on add image. If you have one image or you have, uh, even if you have multiple images, you can still use, you can use a carousel and then you put the image and then you put the description separately. However, um, you can also choose use existing post. So go to the ad setup, choose use existing post, and then you go and select the post you want to use. So for example, um, it is supposed to allow us to choose a post looking for that one so normally that option will show here but when you click on use existing post normally below it so you see select post so you click on the select post does now come then you scroll down to the post you want to select so this is the post i want to select so when you select it here it is going to, you see, the problem of where they will tell you potential policy issue, it will no longer show here. It will no longer show and uh, show here, then you can publish. But <clears throat> if you try this, I'm sure if you follow this particular procedure, it's supposed to work for you. I've tried it before on several locations. When I, I want to boost directly from the page, it gives me the problem. But when I boost it uh, on the ad manager, it doesn't give me that problem. Okay, so when you follow this and it's still giving you that problem, please leave your comments in the comment section and I will help you out to get uh, to get a solution. You can also follow the WhatsApp or Telegram link in the description to contact me and I'll help you get a solution. Once again, thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.